Good morning, Oscar Engel. I'm a mechanic that has decided not to be a mechanic anymore. I'm gonna explain you the reason why, along with some very interesting discoverings that I have for you. This morning, I received a message asking if a Corolla 2014 was a good car for, for purchase. Immediately, my mind reacts, yes, so immediately, I want to go and say, yes, go ahead and buy it. But this other information that is new, that it seems like it's being ignored a little bit by a lot of mechanics nowadays, because you are trying to make money out of a repair. So the Corolla brought me back to something that, uh, in my memory, brought me back to something that happened to me yesterday. I went to Vegas, to Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, to pick up some parts and I ended up talking to uh, a, an old friend of mine also a mechanic he rebuilds engines and uh, also rebuilds heads <clears throat> and we ended up talking about the the part deal that is happening uh, that we are seeing that the parts are fake those very expensive brands that we used to buy to make jobs very good now the part inside the box is a fake part, but you're still paying the high dollar for it. He told me about a, um, a specific ring, you know, for the pistons. Let me see if he already, I, I messaged him this morning, trying to get the answer of the name of that ring. So I'm just gonna walk to this area over here. See, I already, I already did this video in English. I'm just trying to see. Okay, he did answer. And this is what he answered. Look, I'm going to show you. See if we can see if we can see the there is the image. So that brand is what he just messaged and that's my that's me asking the question. Uh there it is. So let me see if I can See there's his answer. So he talked to me and he said, you know what? I'm having a problem because I don't know what to do. Because how am I going to rebuild an engine? How am I going to tell uh, the customer your engine is going to last five, ten years when I can't even meet the warranty? They're returning. They're returning burning oil because the rings are uh, being worn out. And uh, so they, they ended up discovering, they played with uh, some investigations and they were able to match the ring that is inside of the box of good brand. They were able to match it to a box that the quality of the ring is horrible. So he's stuck. He's like, what do I do? So you're not going to believe it, but this man actually said to me, I'm going to have to stop rebuilding engines, which is exactly what I did. I stopped being a mechanic because we saw a ton of returns, but this was a lot of returns. And I saw myself as a, uh, as, a as money, uh, as a bucket of money with a, with a hole at the bottom of the bucket that my money was just draining. So I closed down because of that. Let's jump to the next thing that I want to tell you. This morning I got a, uh, Actually, we, uh, Luis, uh, which is the guy that operates this closed shop now, he called me because he has a, um, a something that someone needs to be underneath the car listening to the sound and someone needs to be accelerating the engine to, so we can catch the noise. We'll, we'll show it to you in a minute. He's helping a customer. The uh, noise is coming from the rear differential. This is a 2015 Santa Fe. So what you may say, well, what I'm, what I'm going to show you is that the oil came out from the pinion seal. <coughs> but you would say, well, just put a new seal in it. But this is a problem. The new material of the seals is no good. It breaks fast. Those of you that are mechanics, you are probably already seeing that the rack and pinions that you are installing, they are returning leaking. That's because the O-rings are no good, okay? We, are, we saw, because we already stopped, actually, Luis already stopped offering the replacement of a rack and pinion. You've noticed that they were already selling a new 
rack and pinion. But the seals have to be the same. The seals have to be the same material as the, as the seals that you use to rebuild a rack and pinion. Therefore, the new one is going to leak also. Or at least, you know, we would like to wait until there's a couple of years that there's a long history of that new rack and pinion not leaking. And that's when he'll probably offer it. This is if the shop continues to run. Because what we are seeing is that we are going south on this quality of parts. Let me see if uh, Luis is going to show you. If not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a story about rings. Yeah, he's, I think he's about to be done. I'm going to tell you what happened. Five years ago, we calculated a minute ago because we already recorded this in, um, in Spanish. Five years ago, we got a, an engine that we replaced with a used one. And the engine uh, crossed the warranty that is provided, which is three months on a used part. It crossed the, the warranty and started smoking. Customer comes in. We don't have the warranty on the engine anymore, so we cannot replace it for free for the person. So we decide to try to repair ourselves, right? So we get to the bottom of the problem to discover that the rings are solidified against the unit of the piston because of carbon buildup. Two things, yeah, we have to consider what happened with the breathing system, what happened to the PCV system, right? So we enter into that and everything was well. You could also have the problem that the oil that was being used instead of 020, they were using the 520 or the 530 and that is bad for those types of engines. <clears throat> the bottom line is the accumulation of carbon made those rings be solid to the piston. And the piston, it was, it was even um, clapping against the wall. You could hear when you would start it. So we changed the rings, but this is the mystery that I wanted to tell you that we didn't know this was going to happen. This is in the past. This is a long time ago. We called Toyota to buy new rings to discover that they do not exist. Toyota said that we had to wait. We had to special order the rings because they don't. They had three rings in the country, in the United States. So they had to like somehow get some more rings from somewhere else. But now that I think about it, it could be that Toyota never bought never never got original rings to sell to me they simply just got the rings from another source inserted them in a bag or a package of toyota and sold them to us <clears throat> what i saw as weird is that the rings were not available and they had to be special order uh, we did change the pistons and they also had to be special order anyways that fixed the problem on that engine but the little, the little idea that the rings were not available brought me you know, to that memory in the past. Maybe I was cheated and I did not know because now I know that the part is fake inside the bag or the container of an original item. Let's see if Luis wants to help us. Luis, you want to help us hear the sound? Meanwhile, while he gets here, I'm just going to show you. The oil came out of this, of this unit. Let me take this out of the tower. There is a, there's a hole right there that is probably provided for the oil to exit. Let's see if you can see the hole right there. So the oil drained out of the differential and this ended up um, obviously breaking because no oil. I'm just gonna show you the sound that this thing makes. beautiful car but the quality now <clears throat> you are probably thinking just go ahead and change that front pinion seal right that's what you are thinking but my choice is I am not going to uh, there's if there's another mechanic that wants to get this job done I am going to just suggest this customer to go to the dealer but we will not offer the repair because we are afraid that we are going to purchase this seal and it's not gonna last. And now we have this customer that's gonna get mad 
not on me because I'm, you know, I'm out of the question now, but Luis will never be able to fix this car. The seal will, will probably come out, will probably pop out, it'll leak, and it'll probably destroy the next differential that he is going to install in there. So we just decide to walk away from it. Anyways, this is what I wanted to tell you in this specific video. Be aware, start uh, discovering it yourself. The part inside of that box may be a fake part. Okay, thank you.